Hello there, this is Mark Morgan, and I'm going to give a brief fix for those of you who maybe accidentally updated to iTunes 11 without knowing it. And so here you are in class, you've got 30 iPads, one for each student, but suddenly iTunes looks completely different, perhaps something like this. This is the view that you'll get by default in iTunes, and what you'll notice, of course, here is that there are some very important things missing. You're missing the sidebar, or the list of devices on the left hand side. That's also where it would show your iTunes library with movies, music, apps, etc. Playlists, all of those things. All of those things seem to be gone here. Okay, well I want to show you just a very how quick and easy it is to get that back looking the way you're used to. Okay, so you're in iTunes 11. You're going to simply click on the view menu and you're going to come down here until it says show sidebar. And boom, just that quickly. I've only got um, eight iPads plugged in here. But look what we have. Just that quickly, we have all of the familiar lists that you're used to. Okay, so you've got your music, your movies, TV shows. Here you've got your apps. And then, of course, the devices. And you can click on those, and you'll get a very similar view to what you're used to. Okay, the other thing that we're used to, though, is a little status bar down here at the bottom. So let's go back to View. And let's click Show Status Bar. And now, if you're using the same uh, iTunes library that you have your personal library in, which most of you are, um, you, you might not want uh, those items that are stored in the cloud or in Apple's servers showing up here all the time. So what you can do, let me show you back on the View menu. We're going to go back to View, and we're going to say hide music in the cloud. In other words, it's only going to show music that exists here on your machine. And because of the way we're managing iPads, that's important. So we're going to say hide music uh, that's just in the cloud. Okay. All right. So when it comes time to manage your iPads, you're going to click on an iPad just as you normally would. And on the app section, you'll notice that this, the sync apps checkbox is gone up here. Um, that's okay, because you're simply going to click either install or remove. If it says install, that means it's not on there. If it says remove, that means it is installed. In your case, you will want to click automatically sync new apps. Other than that, for the time being, that is really the only difference, okay? I'd like to point out one other thing, however. If you want to download something, let's say you want to download um, some updates. Okay, on this computer I've got, oh my gosh, 566 updates, 744 updates because I have about 1600 apps on here. Um, it's going to show me the updates. Once you start downloading, it used to be that there was a download section right here. That is gone. Okay, so let's say that I want to download Videolicious Update and Docs, uh, this first two. So I'm going to click Get Update, Get Update. Look what just appeared up here in the upper right. If I click this little down arrow, what I get is a pop-up list of downloads. Whereas before, this downloads section used to show up right over here in your list. Okay, so let me show you that again. Let me download another one. Let's do uh, Logman Ignition, or let's do one that's a little bit longer. Beat Blaster. Okay, so notice that this little down arrow is active. If I click that, I get the pop-up that will give me my status of my downloads. And of course, you want to wait until those are downloaded before you sync your iPads. Okay, so just to quickly review, all I did to restore my view, it comes by default looking like this. All I had to do, view menu, show status bar, view menu, show sidebar. And just that quickly, I'm back in business. Okay, I hope this helps. Just to get you started, we'll be releasing more information as it becomes uh, important. But anyway, this is just your little quickie walkthrough of getting iTunes to look the way you recognize it. Thank you, and I will see you next time.